everybody, welcome back to Flower Every Knits. My name is Natalie and this is my sister Chloe. Um, and this is a little knitting podcast all about what we have been knitting. Um, what bit did we do next? How have you been? You haven't been on in a while? I haven't been on since last time I was. Oh, did we didn't do a Christmas one? We didn't we do a Christmas one. Because mm. the cottages were just so chilled yeah. and there were so many of us that. Um, yeah, it was busy. So we have some. I have a finished project that I was doing over Christmas. A very exciting finished project. I do. And then... It's sparkly. It is sparkly. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Just been... You, your knitting mojo has been kind of low. It has. You've been moving. I'm busy. I moved apartments. Your boyfriend broke his legs. Boyfriend leg, broke his leg. One leg. One leg. Yeah. It's pretty tough. So... Yeah. I was filling everybody in last week about just... How crazy yeah, everything has been. But here's hoping for a better February. Yes. Um, this is our little Valentine's that I've dressed oh, appropriately. So have I. Cute. Unintentionally. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, let's just get right into it. I have a lot. Yes. Do you want to start it off then? Okay. Well, I have one finished object. Okay. And you have a so finished are, object. Yeah. So, okay, I'll show mine finish my sweater you haven't seen this yet I've seen it on your Instagram oh yeah I haven't blocked it this is the I love the colours pink velvet (gasps) so it's called yeah jumper by uh, Andrew Maury I knit it in cascade heritage silk so it's uh, merino it's really um, soft it's Devon nylon yeah it's lovely. <gasps> really like buttery to knit with. So I finished it. Yay! Have you tried it on? Tried it on. It needs a good block. Um, oh my god, look how amazing that detail it's so is. Lovely. So this part in the pattern is actually knit with a surreal backup. Mm. Which makes it velvety. But I just, I had these colours. Uh, I wanted something that was kind of wintry, but not Christmassy. Mmm. I think this fits the Do you know what these remind me of? Feathers. Power on buttons. This is Chloe's revenge for her <laughs> slugs. Do you know what I mean? Look, it's me What was it? Slugs? That, what were the... What did snails? This is her revenge for the snails. <laughs> <laughs> but they do kind of look like we power on buttons. Yes, they do. <laughs> but lovely. <laughs> That's all I can see. I don't know. Like it. You're a wee madam. It's so nice. I actually would be willing to... I, I think I'd like to knit this. Would you? Yeah. I love Very the colours you chose. Me too. They're such nice colours. I think as well. So I had four skeins of the blue. One, well, it's a blue-grey. One mm. skein of the white. I Four skeins of the blue? Did you use uh, yeah. one? I used three and then had to go into one for like this. Oh, oh my God. I know. So if I was buying, if they were available in fifty gram skeins, I could have got one mm-hmm. less. But for your size, I knit the two X, so I did have to go so into nice. the fourth skein. But if you are knitting it, you'll only need three of the main. And it's then so nice. I think you could even do this in minis. To be honest, I think I used maybe forty grams. Really? For the white, yeah. There's a lot left. I love. It's so silky. I actually find it a little bit difficult to knit be- on my chalgoos because I was because they're metal, and the silk kept slipping off. So what do you plastic? I think wood, wood would probably have been easier, but by the time I I got round to like thinking, okay, maybe I'll buy a wooden set. I was on like a sleeve, so I just thought, yeah, let's just. The well, only thing is, chalgoo don't have wooden tips. That's that tighten into their cords. Because mm. I didn't want to buy fixed circulars. Yeah. Because I got rid of all this because the chagu pretty much does what I need. But um, it would be good if they had like wooden tips. Interchangeable ones. Yeah. Maybe you should email them and suggest that. Yeah, maybe I should. But. Lovely. I love it. It's so so nice. she needs a good bath, <clears throat> and then maybe I'll wear it next time. Um, I knitted two pattern. I actually knit the body a little bit longer. I must be long in the torso. Yeah, like look how tall I look. 
you're small anyway. But anyway, um, I knit maybe three extra inches on the on the torso. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. So maybe hers is supposed to be a bit more cropped, but I tried it on, oh, and, and it just yeah, that's not in the pattern either. I just like a split hem. Yeah, that's nice. I like a split hem. And she does recommend a tubular bind off, and I just did a normal bind off and pattern. Didn't even particularly do a stretchy bind off. I just <laughs> bind off, made sure I was doing it quite loose, and I actually quite like how um, a bind off in pattern looks. Mm. Like, I think that looks quite neat. Yeah, it does look neat. Tubular band looks are beautiful, but I can move on with you. There's a tubular cast on, I think. You did that really quick, that jumper. I did. Do you wonder why? Because I was watching the Cry Bear podcast, and she knits a new jumper every episode. Oh, really? She, no, she's knitting in a far smaller size than I knit, and in chunkier yarn for the most part, but she's cranking them out. And I just thought, mm, I didn't knit very many sweaters last year I knit um I knit uh a soldatma yeah they don't really like I should I knit, knit I should knit a jumper Neil got you yarn for a jumper you yeah it? he did you I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna knit a Christmas jumper I yeah. think I'm gonna use the doodle pattern <laughs> and put those in because they fit into the strange brew <laughs> jumper so that's like a recipe and you can fit because it's a 24 stitch repeat that the doodle pattern sheets and that the um strange brew recommends as well so i think i'm gonna do an all That'd over nice. fabric <clears throat> oh all over yeah i think so oh yeah that'd be nice i might do even like the a, sleeves yeah i might do like a neutral color and then yeah. stripe christmas colors oh. like maybe like a like a neutral background and then do each motif mm -hmm. Christmas colours different colours true I, I found would, a nice black like, palette you could also just do a full neutral jumper that whenever you're wearing it it's not obvious it's Christmas and then you get close and you're like oh it's Christmas that'd be cute as well yeah that would be cute because then it's not in your it. face yeah, yeah like with Grand's Kyle I knit it was a very soft deep like there was no point in me knitting that colour work <laughs> because you can't tell Unless you're really looking at yeah. it close. But maybe Lovely. a little subtle. I actually really want to knit a colour with cardigan as well. Really? Yes. But. So and I want to knit out a stash. But most of my stash is super washed. And it's not good for sticking. Oh, I don't even want to talk about sticking. That scares me. I would never. I think you would. Natalie. I think if you did it once. You would love it. No. If you did it once and it worked. The only thing is, I don't think you like the kind of yarn you have to knit with for it to be mm. 100%. Oh, so you know it? oh it's a scratchy yarn. You no, know my Birkin that I wear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's not actually scratchy, though. Like, I will wear a jumper, skin. though, if it's not. Like, so I have jumpers, like, not handmade, like, just normal. And if it's at all, like, itchy, I won't mm. wear them. Even though they're really nice jumpers. Yeah. Well, anyway, this one is super soft because you suck in it. Yeah, that one's so nice. See, I could get behind this. Yeah. Oh, well, definitely. This is softer than even just merino nylon. Yeah, it's lovely. How much was this jumper? Um, each skein is, I think, about twelve pounds. So not the cheapest, but yeah. And you got what five? But it was sitting in my stash for at least a year. Before I realised. We did um, once. Tried to sum up your stash work, didn't we? Couple oh of figure, but it was a scary figure. Look. <laughs> Speaking of, so my goal for 2024 is to use more yarn than I bring in. Mm -hmm. But you, you were so doing I'm that towards the end of the I was trying, but I figured out how I'm like weighing it and doing it by grams. So You're such a virgin. I, yeah, I am. So I totaled up January. I brought in a certain amount and I used up so that it balanced out. I got 144 grams less in my stash. So oh. I brought in about 500 grams and I used up about 300 and whatever. Yeah. And so I've reduced my stash by 144 grams. 
That's pretty good. That is good. Like, what, what, considering a lot of effort to be weighing. It's not a lot of effort. It's fine. Anyway, that's my finished object. Let's see yours. Okay. I kind of, let me just check for a second because I forget the name. Right, well, let's show it. Oh, yeah. This is Chloe's. This was a pain. Why is it? it? Do you do, do so you fold I, it? I, yeah, I'll show. It's kind of a hard one to show. This was a bit of a pain and towards the end of it, I was just sort of making it up. <laughs> and it worked. But do you remember the reviews on the pattern weren't the best? Yeah. So this is a top. An off the shoulder oh, top. Chloe, <laughs> look at the glitter. Yeah, so it's off the shoulder. So this bit folds down. See how it's knitted. There's a like this. Yeah. So there's armholes. Wow. And then... Oh my god, what was the story? Do you not remember? The no. way I cast it on. Oh. <laughs> Did you tell so, us? No, so Chloe cast this on. I can't remember the figures. It was a confusing pattern, to be fair. It was really You're confusing. You're going to find what it was. But she cast it on and she's knitting away. And is it bottom up or top down? So you cast on the ribbon you first. cast on the ribbon first. So she cast it on and she was knitting away for ages. And I think you pulled it out and redid it. Mm -hmm. like you did a lot of I did like and I'm a slow knitter and I did like loads right. and then so I looked at it and it was like unstretched it was this size <laughs> and I was like Chloe <laughs> what size are you doing <laughs> I think I picked the large no I picked the medium so I was previously knitting the medium um, so let's start over. Yeah. This is called the Fold Over Crop Top by, by Holly C. Watson. Um, and it is a success now. It, there were a few hurdles. Should you want to show the photo? Yeah. Oh my god, my iPad's a day. <laughs> so there were a few hurdles. The first hurdle was she, well, you just went with the schematic and you cast on the medium yeah. thinking that would fit. Not yeah. really realising, I think, that you wanted negative ease in this. Well, it's confusing because with her bust measurements and waist measurements, the bust was too big for me, but the waist was the right for me. Yes. So, but if I was to do a small, the small would have fit my bust, but it wouldn't have, the waist was really, really tiny. I was like, well, my waist is not tiny. That wouldn't fit me. Plus, there's and negative the ease involved in it as well. So, you do want it to fit tight yeah on your body so you had to do a lot of working out and i think you hacked it mostly you kind of followed the pattern roughly and then yeah, figured out how I did it, it would fit with, yeah. but the first cast on it was like to here i was like chloe i don't think this is the right size for you yeah <laughs> but then do you not remember the other thing no i can't remember oh my it's god so really? long right well so i showed natalie this pattern and i mean i've done all the ribbing so look at all this ribbing that's how much i've done it's a lot of ribbing but only I did it in the, the medium, which was not, I was like, that's too big. Try it on. I tried it on. I was like, oh God. Like it was just falling down me. I was like, great. So I oh, went Oh, you then. were so raging as well. Yeah. Because I was like, that's too big. And you're like, it's not. But then I pulled <laughs> it all out, unwrapped, unraveled it all, cast on again. Do you not remember this? No. And I cast it on that many stitches that it wouldn't even fit on the, on the thing. Oh. <laughs> Do you not remember this? Yes. So I don't I don't remember what Right. So what you did was you undid it and whenever yeah. you start your cast on you have a little slip knot so you knew how much you had to cast on the last time. Mm -hmm. And you were casting on again and ran out of that. Isn't that <gasps> it? I went so I did the yards, so I then cast it on five hundred and ten <laughs> stitches. <laughs> Instead of Instead of okay, yeah, stitches. So I cast it on 510 right. stitches. So and the I'm first sorry. cast on was 236. 236. So she ripped it out. Then she's like, I'm starting over. So then she cast on 510 stitches. I was reading the pattern, but I was on the materials page. So I read the yardage. The yardage. <laughs> and so I cast, and I was knitting this, and I was like, oh my god, this is really tight. I can barely yeah, do my stitches. Got a couple of rows. Yeah, Natalie, it took me three hours until I <laughs> rang you and I was like, this has taken me three hours to do like two and a half rows, three rows. And then you burst into laughter and I had cast on 500 <laughs> and 
10. Like, I for a size small. Not only that, it took me about an hour just to count the stitches because I counted <laughs> them about five times. <laughs> I kept having to count I think them. that's what it was. You were in the middle of counting and I was like, why? Oh, I done rows. Oh my God. I done rows, but it's <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that so yeah but then <clears throat> we got there in the end and I just sort of winged it and then by the time I was doing the small pattern I was like do you know what I don't even care if it's not going to fit me anymore I'm just doing my own thing so then I sort of because I knew in her pattern that the waist was going to be too small from what she wrote I sort of added in a couple stitches that's so good that shows out that you've got knowledge of how to yes Natalie look at all my Look at all my, all your notes. All my notes I did. Very good. So Claire. I added four stitches to each armhole so the arms would fit mine. And it does, it fits great. So look at me. Well done. <laughs> I know, I'm never knitting That's it ever a again. That's knitting. Well, you can, now you've got all your... Um... No, it was such a pain, but it's so beautiful on. It's actually so nice on. <gasps> this would be perfect during Valentine's Day if I was able to go anywhere, but Tyler's broke his leg. <laughs> You can still wear it and visit me. <laughs> so I, can't I think forgot you, I all can't about think, that. That's what I thought you were going to say and you were going on about how I had to unravel it. I was like, Molly, that's not even the big thing. <laughs> forgot all about that. Okay. Well, I have plans for more jumpers and I did some swatching. Oh. I've never swatched in my life. Well, that's not, that's not quite I've true. seen your stories about you swatching. So I have a sweater quantity of John Arbin's Yarnadelic yarn. Um, so I decided to swatch every needle size that I had to see. So what I did was I just cast on a number, knit with, I think this starts at 2.75. And then I did a little ridge and then went up a needle size, did a little ridge, went up a needle size. Oh. And then I'll wash it and block it, and then I'll be able to take my stitch gauge from each one, and then I can look for patterns with those gauges. Mind blown. And this is a so I knit the the cozy classic raglan out of this. Do you remember? Last year, so this is leftover. So I just had it sitting in stash. So I just thought. I was about to say, it's not like, that. I think your gauge is wrong. Like, I thought this was like, <laughs> meant to be a fill sweat. It's like, that's not even. That's not right. Wow, how smart, Natalie. I'm so smart. So does that mean you won't have to swatch any ever again? Well, I hope so, with that yarn, at least. Do, do people do this? Do you know if people do this? Or if you just thought of it? I just thought of it. I'm fucking great. This is a trend. I'm sure people do do This that. is going to be a trend. I know people do this for every project. So grocery girls, you would see if they're between two um, needle sizes, they'll swatch both and put a little thing. But I just thought, I have this yarn. I know that I want to use it for something. So I'll just swatch everything and see what fabric I like. What if you forget what needle size it is? I wrote it down. <laughs> and it just goes through my chowgu mm. thing. So it would be a good guess because I have swatched before. Um, so the other swatch that I did was um, I want to knit a ranunculus. A ranunculus is like a very open pattern and it uses minimal yarn. Sounds like a dinosaur. It's a type of fly. Oh. So <laughs> um, the ranunculus is uh, 14 stitches per 4 inches, which is this bottom one. Um, the top one. I basically had two needles, and I thought, yeah. I think I honest, prefer. The I top. don't like the fabric, but I think I prefer the way the top one. Looks. I prefer it too. However, I have a very, very limited amount of the yarn that I want to use for it. Do you remember I bought? Sorry. No, that was me. Oh, I thought I meant this back. I general. thought. I think I did. I think I meant it back. <laughs> Um, I bought, do you remember the little five skein mini set from Pixie, the rain? Yeah. The white clouds or something. Mm -hmm. I have that plus a couple more from my advent and two skeins of mohair. So it's 25 grams Is this your colourful? For the whole jumper. Okay. It's right on the amount of yardage you need for my size. And no wiggle room at all. Is that good or bad? It means that I have to knit it to this 
cage. It's supposed to be open and airy anyway. Is this a is this a jumper? Yeah. Mm. So eight minis. Yeah, that'll be nice actually as a jumper. It'll be like a, like a meshy sort of type. Yeah. I am nervous about it because I do not want to rip out fingers and mohair. It's disgusting. Oh, so all those are mohair? All those minis so, you have? No. It minis are merino and then two 25 gram skeins of mohair held um yeah oh, are they held together yeah. oh mohair grosses me out a bit as i know because you told me that my <laughs> jumper was like human hair and to be fair i don't like knitting mohair on its own but i don't mind it together it's much nicer together i, I have mohair i don't know where that is It just feels like a furball from the river. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just when you feel like if you were to put this into my hand, I would be grossed out. But lovely. There are people who just shut, shut up. up. <laughs> 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 there are people who love mohair. Oh yeah, I mean I have mohair jumpers. Again, they're too itchy for me to wear, but too itchy, you must be very sensitive. So this was with a six millimeter needle. I think I'm getting 16 or 17 stitches there. And this is 14 with an eight millimeter needle. Mm. So that's ready to go. That's gonna be my next jump up. Yay. I'm gonna test that one next week. So these are my jumper plans. I have mm. more things to show. Do you? No. Well, I only have a pair of socks. A pair of socks. Well, I have something that's not a pair of socks. And then I have one, two, Three pairs of socks. Yes, do you want to show yours? Right, this is my um, muscle bra hat. I hate it. <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> Look how long that is. Look at the colour in them. So this is cinnamon. Yeah, oh, the cinnamon, cinnamon Sna- yogurt. Oh, it does. It's called Cinnamon Snow by Bird Street. That's such a nice name. It's beautiful. Um. So the muscle bra is you basically knit a ski a full skein long 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 and then you turn it in on itself so it's double thickness mm, i guess that's smart so but that's not the hat i'm doing is it no yeah. it is so boring to knit and i think maybe i'm bored of it because i i'm not convinced it's gonna look good once i finished it so i think i need to reserve judgment i need to just finish it and then Decide. see if I like it. The mm-hmm. yarn is beautiful. It's such, I love the name. It's such a lovely, it actually is very similar to that. You like a pale colour, don't you? Yeah, but this feels like a little bit warmer of a pink. Oh yeah, no, it is warm. So, um, I'm knitting the muscle bra. It's taking a long time because I'm not enjoying it. I'd rather be knitting stockinette socks or on a jumper. Yeah. This is a much of stuff to go. I'm going to knit until I have... Why is it a full skein? That seems a lot. Well, it's a one skein project, it's supposed to be. Yeah, but that's going to be such a big hat. Well, I think the problem as well is that I knit it with fingering weight for the first time. The cool thing about it is that, so you basically cast on with whatever needle you like, mm-hmm. and then you measure your gauge Okay. across an inch, and then it tells you how many repeats to do. So you can, oh, that's smart. So you can use any yarn. Oh, for the pattern? That's yeah. very universal. Yeah. So people love this pattern. I think maybe I shouldn't have started with finger weight. But we'll oh, so see. people do with chunky yarn? Yeah. And is it a full of one skein? Are you sure? Yeah. It's not 50 grams? No. But you were thinking because it should be half this length, but it is going to be half. Yeah, but even that, it's going to look big. like that. It's like a big nappy. It does look big, doesn't it? Yeah. But then I think like, maybe I've done something wrong. It also looks like really big to put on your head. Well, I also have a very big head. Not like. Don't this... put it on because those needles are fall. Well, but this is like a sack. I know. This is this you could put your shopping in here. I know. I think maybe it's too I big. I think you have made it too big. Like this is like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, don't discourage me. I'm going to finish it, and then if I don't like it, then I'll rip it all out. But I'm going to finish it to say, because if I don't finish it, then I'll never... Have you tried put putting that again. on your head? Yes. And it fits? Yes. <laughs> I have a large head. No way. Yes, I do. 
23 inches squat. You know. Do I have a big head? No, you just have thick hair. You know that I can't wear Christmas cracker pants without tearing a little bit in the back. I know this. I don't struggle. Do you not remember? You can when put, we if younger, it doesn't work, you can put yarn in that. Yes. <laughs> when we were younger, mum used to take us all. We used to go on holidays up the north coast. Yeah. And we used to go horse riding. Right? Mm-hmm. And I was probably 10 nine maybe you were quite young you were about three or four i don't remember this i was about nine nine or ten and we went horse riding this horse riding center i had to wear adult helmets i think that happened to me as well it didn't you have a small head compared to me i do not have a small head i had to, ten years old i was wearing adult helmets i'm pretty sure that's happened to me i think that's pretty common i have a large head you're brainy and so i have a large muscle brain that's pretty big to me. Maybe my hat's the same as that because Granny's knitting my hat currently. She actually needs me there to help her with the rest of the pattern. It's all right, you know. <laughs> Here's my own. Finish it off and see what it's like. I will. Here's my own. It's beautiful. It's a Christmas colour, eh? I know, it's a lovely little unique one, isn't it? But it doesn't look Christmassy. No. I mean, our heads look exactly the same. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Chloe, no, they don't. Yes, they you do. You a tiny little pea head in comparison. No, I do not. All right, anyway. let's move on from my giant head. Let's see your sock whip. Okay, so I did cast this <gasps> on. No, but oh, I love it. I haven't seen that. What have you not seen no. that? No. I cast this on and I was meant to do it in college. The only thing is, my granny, when I knit... And she sees the fancy arm and the nice needle. It's because I She did it. takes it away from me and she keeps it captive. So I've only just recently got this back. I say recently, it was like before I moved. So. Love the menu. But, but better oh, Siri thinks I'm talking to it. Anyway, so you can actually tell. Oh, Siri, no. I'm not talking to you. Thank you. You can actually see, can you see like where I was knitting and then Granny's tight big knitting. hair on it. Whose big black hair is that? Amy's. Amy's. But look, so I was knitting up to here. This is where my granny yeah. took it. Look how neat she is. She's so neat. But Natalie, I'm really struggling because I'm not having now to go as thin as she goes. As tight. Look at that. It'll block out. I wasn't sure if I should restart it. She made some good progress. Granny's are tight. I go up and do the sides for granny. Yeah, she goes tight. Like To be fair, my socks are always quite big on me. So maybe it's It'll block out. Big, but it's just funny to see. I mean, Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, like that's when Granny took it from me. <gasps> oh, <Sorry. laughs> you shouldn't poke it in your yarn like I that. Know. Split the yarn. Anyway, this yarn's called. <laughs> I know. That's why I think should I restart it? <laughs> Maybe that'll be because like it's a really nice yarn as well. Beautiful. So two shorties and then do longer ones later. But how can I do longer ones of this? No. You can get a pair of shorties and a pair of longer ones. You just need another mini. No way. A hundred percent. Longs and shorts. Longs and shorts. Really? If you think about it, a sock no. set is 70 grams. You get 50 grams of the main and a 20 gram mini. So if you have another mini, you can get longs out of that. Okay. Well, this is called 1975, I think. I don't have the label. But yeah, Bird Street 1975, I believe it's called. And then this is Wham by That's one of the Gideon. Christmas ones. Yeah, and it's sparkly. It's beautiful. So this is my favourite. Like, that's just Wham together, isn't it? You kept saying that, but Wham's 80s. Even so. <laughs> <laughs> you kept saying, this oh, like, 1975, and Wham is made to be. And I said to Neil, I was like, was that when Wham was biting? Was that when last Christmas was out? And it was like, no. Well, I guess seventies are more hippie vibes. It's beautiful. And anyway. actually, in the scheme, I didn't think it looked very Christmassy, but it does here. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. <clears throat> so yeah, these are going to be socks, but in a bit of a dilemma, as my granny has um kept these hostage from me for a while. I can't bring good knitting over there. <gasps> Look, you've been knitting so hard, your needles bent. Mine does that too. It's probably crying. 
Because you're a group, isn't it? I don't know. <clears throat> she that. says these are too slippy as well, so I'm not sure. I got her the. Anymore. I got her the. The square ones. Mm -hmm. She loves those actually. She told me all about it. Right, well, I have three socks. Speaking of gran, gran knit these and I'm putting some heels and toes on them for. Yeah. This is the yarn badger. She's a self striper. Oh, yeah. Hand dyer. Are they four gram? Yes. Yeah. Incredible hand dyed yarn. Look at this. Look. She, she is a hand dyer. That's crazy. Isn't that? I don't understand that. Can't remember the colorway that I have the label. Quite too. This is the yarn badger. Look at her. Go Look at her little badger knitting. Oh. And the Scott celebration. Wait, how does she do that? It's incredible. So much work. Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Twiddling my toes. She's twiddling her toes while she's talking, and they keep touching <laughs> I just me. Get excited. <laughs> So, Gran knit these. These are long. I know, Gran likes a long sock. <laughs> so, Gran knit the tubes. Oh, when you cut. And I am cutting the heel. But you cut to separate them because they were knitted yeah. as a big tube. They were knitted in one big well done, long man. tube. No, actually, I think I cast on two separate <clears throat> ones for her. You didn't? Did I? Because she, was, she kept saying to me, when did I stop? And I was like, I don't know oh. what she's doing. So... I've cut in the heel for this one. Um, oh, Gran has a tiny, tiny toe. <laughs> She's a size She's... four, if even. Yeah. So my big feet could never. And I can't believe I forgot to mention this. Neil got me for Christmas the most adorable <gasps> progress keepers. Yes. Where did you get them? Chapel View Crafts. <gasps> Have you not spoken about these? No, I keep forgetting. Look. It's a Tunnox Mallow. I want one. These are like my favourite treat at Christmas. Gran always gets a big box of like 48 of them. And they're my favourite. Um, imitators can't compare. But I got that and then I got another one. Imitators. Like you can't get like a Tesco zone. <laughs> imitators can't compare. <laughs> this is a bit pompous, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I have another one. It's hiding in a little um, notions pouch somewhere. Oh, you're not showing it. Do you not I, if I find it, I'll show it. Damn. Is that the same? It's, it's a coconut finger. <gasps> yes. Which is adorable because my granda, our granda, was a baker and on Saturday mornings we would bring home coconut fingers for us. I don't like coconut fingers, so you used to get me ice fingers. Yeah. It's adorable. She we does should try like, making our own. I know, but she also does like um cheese boards like that looks like biscuit <laughs> and that looks like, like mallow. we could we should try doing our own but we will never get this level of detail we could maybe do a strawberry or something yeah we could, we could we'd do like whole i think things. we should do that as a little craft we should try it out so i have a random mini i can't remember what it's from but it goes really well yeah that is good so those are for Gran, speaking of. So yeah. I need, I think I'll put those heels on before we go see her today. Yeah. That'll be my knitting for today. Look at the little And then I have a couple more in. socks. Beautiful. We're in Chloe's apartment. Her new apartment. I think I showed these last time. These are Paul's birthday socks. Oh, yeah. I've just been chugging away. I haven't put too many stripes on, but his birthday's this month now, so I will be... Knitting her on those. It's just the first sock because I'm done. You should do that. It's in Cascade Heritage. Well, if you want to use up yarn, yeah. Um, no, they will not be ready to wipe some of them away. <laughs> Cascade Heritage, two skeins. I definitely won't use all of that at all. So Neil might get a matching pair. Mm. <laughs> and then the most exciting one. <laughs> you haven't seen this. Wait, what is this? This is my February sock. Okay. I haven't posted it on social media because I wanted Chloe's live reaction. Not I'm nervous now. Two caveats. My colour work is not very neat. <gasps> it's colour work. Second caveat. I'm using yarn that I ripped out of a top. I basically knit a top. It was way too big and I ripped it out. So the yarn's like super noodles. Oh yeah. Which okay. makes it look messier too. But I'm knitting. Forgot to bring the bag. Is this a doodle sock? 
No, but I really want a knitted doodle sock. This is a sock by a girl called Charlotte Stone. She did that colourwork book I showed last week called Charming Colourwork Socks, I think it's called. These are the I Heart Socks. Socks. <gasps> You're joking. I can't go. I can't go. Oh my god. I know! I want to knit these! <gasps> wow! That's like they're absolutely gorgeous. They're amazing. They're like groovy chick. They are. Like <gasps> the most Barbie 90s. Yeah. Oh so my god! So this is a... This is, is a, this a free pattern? No. This is a cascade. I think it's called Strawberry Cream. As if you kept this to yourself, we could have been matching know. ones. And this is a neon from Knits. I was not expecting that. I know. Now, with colour work socks, with socks in general, my legs are... Is that your, is that your pink one that you knit? Your mm. crop one? Mm -hmm. You ripped it out. Ripped it all out. Why? Because it was hanging off me. It did not suit me at all. I should have knit it with negative ease. I knit it with... It's designed with positive ease. It, it did just not make design, me. isn't it? Yeah. Did not suit me. I didn't feel comfortable wearing it. It was like hanging off me. Mm. I, I guess. Fair so. enough. I mean, these are beautiful. So these are beautiful <gasps> instead. Can you believe? Oh my god, are they flowers? They're like a little like pattern detail in the middle. That is so cute. I cast this on two days ago. Because I wanted You're to joking. be able to show. When you found out we what were colouring today? So, yeah. Uh-huh. You wanted a wild factor? Yeah. And my finished jumper just wasn't enough. I want to knit these. You can knit shorties. So, I have chunky legs, which means that standard size socks, yeah, they're especially gonna in colour work, will not fit my leg. So, what I've done is this. I cast on the largest size in my normal needles. I did knit, do you remember the rhubarb and custard socks, the pink and yeah. red ones? They are way too big. Oh, really? So I knit the biggest size and I went up a needle size. Too big. They don't fit my feet. They fall off. Oh. So I cast on the biggest size of my normal needle. Um, I'm going to knit this until the heel. Put the heel in and then I'm going to go down a needle size. Yeah. And knit the foot tighter. Um, so it'll still be the large size but with two different needles so that my leg is slightly bigger and my foot is snugger. Yeah. Mother, that's the wrong <gasps> bit. You're right, but look at that. It's just, it's just the way you look. I know. Will you make sure the people so they don't get this? I'm oh, sorry. I'm trying to sneak on wearing a put the sock on, but apparently not. <laughs> I've shown these before. The, they're your galantines. But look where my edges are. <laughs> they're not great. Right, so this is a sock set from. Um, oh, she's bumping hers off. I'm bumping mine off too. This is a Galentine's sock set from Botanical Yarns a few years ago. This is the same Colors. sock set, but I put a little white in between. Yeah. Mine looks much more vibrant. Yeah. Look, 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 look. look. But this, I fits also... my, this fits my fit. How know. long that is you do compared to feet. Granny's? Because <laughs> I'm for big flippers. Oh my god, <laughs> is this bigger than my face? This could be a face mask. See, you have big feet, I have a big head. At least you hide your feet. Anyway, I'll let you know how these fit. Yes. The ongoing experiment of colour work socks. Speaking of doodle patterns, she's just released her Valentine's. <gasps> You're joking. Look at, you didn't look at my. That's adorable. Yeah, that is cute. Will you see her Valentine's doodle kit just came out yesterday? You should be. Uh, what was the one you should be? I showed you. So, Valentine's came out yesterday. She's going to put a call for testers for her baking one coming up. Oh yeah, the baking. It had kitchen aids and all in it. It did. Oh. <gasps> Imagine. No, actually. <gasps> How Let me see. cute would these be as socks? Even like a wee cup cozy, that would be so yeah. cute. A wee cup cozy or like a teapot hover. Look at the swans. 
notes. I love the love hearts. Oh my god, I love it. So she has two Valentines. I love all the colours. Look at the lips. <gasps> I love her colour palette. She works with somebody else. Moon Glow Yarn. Um, so what she does is on Ravelry, she has all of her doodle patterns. But Ravelry doesn't let you... You have to... If you're going to upload a pattern to Ravelry, it has to be a full pattern. What she does is on her own website, she does expansion chart packs that are basically cheaper than the full pattern because you don't get the pattern in it. You just get the extra chart. So if you have one pattern, you can add the expansion in without having to pay full price oh, okay. for a full pattern. <clears throat> but she can't put them on Ravelry because Ravelry won't let her. So she already has... Oh, that's uh, that. Valentine's from last year and this is Valentine's 2. So there's two yes. Valentine's. Do so, you get them? Yeah, I think I might. Do you have to? I just, uh, do you know, I really want to knit seasonal hot water bottle covers. Yeah. <gasps> I think like, a couple really would cute. be cute as well. Because like, would you really wear a scarf? But yeah, actually, yeah. Mum was wearing her one that I knit her today and it she is was. so lovely. Do you know what? I think I actually would use a Valentine's scarf. Because it is still chilly. Mm -hmm. But I just I, think, yeah, my other one's autumnal. Yeah. But I just think socks would be adorable and a little hot one. I need to knit one of them because they you seem really do. fun to knit. Let's plan that. But anyway, here's my colorbrick sock. I love it. <gasps> I'm it's jealous. so cute. This is also on theme for grocery shops. Imagine slippers because didn't um, Jessie May bring out slippers? Oh, yeah. They look so nice, the gingham ones. I think if you just did them in a DK. But how, do, how does it become a slipper? A slipper? It's just thick. Right, okay. Does that make sense? So, let me see. I don't think my little stitch markers in this one. I have a little notions pouch for every bunch of it. I know, wow. Well. <gasps> Wait! You got me a bag! Wait! You got me a bag from Christmas? Oh, I did. Go get it. Right. I made you a bag. You made me a bag. I shall show <gasps> my last stitch markers. Sock. Oh yeah, quick. Right. You haven't been on for so long. All right, I've shown Paul's socks. I've shown my exciting sock rolls. And I've shown my thing I did. Um, I like to cast on some socks for Gran to keep her knitting. So this one, she's already knit one of these. This is... She's got a couple of little... I think this is the Regia one. It knits up in a kind of feral style thing. I think that's what this is. So I've cast that on for Gran using the Cubics needles. She's a tight knitter as we've seen. So that's for Gran. Um, and then I also cast on, this is a Hedgehog Fibers one for Gran. Oh, look at that blue. Grand loves that blue. I think this colorway is called Harvest. I got it in um like a three month mystery skiing club thing. Um, back when I first started knitting, um, and I never found what to use them for. So that's Grand's. She doesn't know about it yet. But I split it into two fifty gram balls for her and you can tell this was in a project at one point and then I ripped it out again. So those are for Grant. Here comes Clip. More finished objects from ages ago. Right well this is Mum's Doodle Kyle from, did I show this on the podcast? Yeah I think you did. This is Mum's Doodle Kyle from Christmas. Actually no maybe you didn't. I don't think I did. I think I showed a picture. She picked her colours and her charts. It's five skin colours. And it's finger and weight held bubble. It's a lovely little rotating <laughs> upside down. But she had it on today. She had it on today. She looked so chic. She was walking the Chimaxter. And then this is one. I'll need to look up the pattern for this is. And I'll put it down below. I can't remember what it is. But this was a Christmas present from a few years ago. It was a free pattern Amazing. from what I remember. It's like a little shrug, a little poncho, 
Really? Yes. And it's knit by dolls. Uh, Camera Rose. So what you call that? Camera Rose Snap Lug. Granny couldn't believe that Natalie had made it when Mum had worn it the other day. See, it suits Mum's colour and it doesn't suit me. Mum's not as pale as I am. Mm. It would suit me because I've done it all. Yeah. I want Beautiful one. Color. Beautiful <laughs> Natalie. Too. It's so cosy. So And nice. it fits Mum perfectly. Like, it hits like, the right part in her arm so she's mm. not like yeah. constricted or anything. My mummy will kill it up my knitwear. So okay. I show, So this is the bag Natalie made me for Christmas. And Sophie. And Sophie. She and me. surprised us. And then I actually forgot my Christmas game. That'll which never got year. casted on. Called Home for Christmas. Oh, was this one you were going to give for, make for Tyler? Yeah. But well, I think in it. So maybe it should just be for you. you. Yeah. I don't think you'll. I'm probably going to do Christmas in July. Sucks. Huh? There's a thing called Christmas in July where you prep for Christmas in July. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should probably so do So I'm going to do his. And she also got us this little stitch marker. They were a nice wee surprise. For they Christmas. were. Okay. And we got given them in the cottages. So cute. They are. Mate, oh, I'm going to put this on whatever I cast on for Valentine's. Right, okay. Yes. okay. I have acquisitions. I also have a big surprise acquisition that you don't even know about. But I'll go through the first. So, I'm, my best friend is pregnant. She's due at the end of March. And I'm going to knit her a baby jumper. So I went to Hank's and Casey helped me pick out some yarn. <gasps> Wait, does she know what she's having? She's having a girl. But her um, nursery is decorated in sage green. Mm. Melissa likes green, so I thought this little minty colour. So this is 70% organic merino wool and 30% cotton. <gasps> um, but it can be thrown in the washing machine. Natalie, I started making this. Maybe I should finish it. It was a baby jumper. <laughs> what, for Melissa's baby? Yeah. Yeah. Could do. Just sitting there. I feel how soft it is. Do you remember I went to about it? Sorry, I'm interrupting you. You yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, talk about it. Oh, well. I is this the flax? I don't remember. I think it is. I, I had the jumper. Too. I had the jumper thing. It's actually really soft. But I started this because someone in my work was having a baby. and This was before you were going to do your Halloween one. And I said, cast on a baby jumper. It'll help yeah. you. Yeah. And then I just never, never did it anymore. But it's so soft. Feel that? So soft. And... It's really nice, so maybe maybe I should finish it and since she's having a baby girl. Yeah. Should have a little pair. She's so I'm gonna knit too. this. Melissa, if you're listening, turn on. Because I'm gonna knit this and then also I think I might do a little um embroidery, a little bunny on the front, put a little pom pom on the tail of the arm. She's gonna know now. She will have turned away. I'll just tell her not to watch it this one. Okay. Oh yeah, that'd be really cute. Love the colour. I love the colour too. So I'm going to hold it double and knit the flax. Yeah. Or the strain, or um, something out of the strange brew book. Yeah. Or else, if I don't end up finishing it, someday I'll knit it and donate it to charity or something. If one of us is bound to have a baby at some point. Yeah. Jess. Not the best. Yeah, Jess the world. I got my first instalment of my Beehive Yarns Fairy Vintage Club for this year. And then get in the mini skins. So you open it. Actually, I'll just open it. What were you going to say for me to open it? <gasps> What's it say? Very vintage. A very vintage yarn club. She always gives matching tea bags. To the paper? To, oh, the, to yarn. the yarn. <laughs> so this is the inspo pick. <gasps> Priscilla. Priscilla. Love. Aren't they beautiful? How on theme. That is so cute. Did you watch so Priscilla? So good. No. So good. Colour arts. So the thing with these is, of course, I love a mini skin set for socks. But I can also knit a jumper and do the colour work. 
Mm. In the mini skirt. Nana neutral. Be beautiful. And then a neutral. She has a beautiful dark color called Cemetery Gates. Mm. Beehive yarns. Um, but that would entail buying more yarn. So I have to put that one by the bottom. But you, you still can buy yarn if you're using it. I can buy yarn, yeah. So. But um, also not like... Um, Doodles? No. Is this a subscription? Like you get one of the mouths? Is this a new one? So I did the Simple Pleasures one last yeah. year. Yeah. No, it's very vintage. This is very vintage. <gasps> so February's colour the inspiration picture is Marilyn Monroe. I was I was literally about to say it, I think it's Marilyn gentlemen Monroe wear there. diamonds. The, or ge gentlemen? Gentlemen prefer blondes is where she sings diamonds. Oh um, yeah. Um it's very she's wearing like a red dress and stuff. So that is my subscription yarn. Love. That's very Love. cute. Love. They always come with the end of the month. 23 maybe? Not too bad. I keep flashing my right there. Yeah. You have to make sure that's cut. I know. Last one. Which one is that? This arrived yesterday. Is that? <laughs> Melly's full of surprises this episode. Neil got me a Valentine's present. Already? It's already. I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, so you give it to me. Mm. Oh, Queen Neil. <gasps> this is the Bird Street Yarns Valentine's box. You're joking. Right. So I've opened it all to have a look, but I want you to open everything so wrapped up. Oh, me open it? Yeah, 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 so you can see it all. Oh, where do you start? Oh my god. I know. This is Oh, so this is a huge cute. spoiler. Oh, These are yeah, still yeah. in the shop. Huge spoiler for the next, like, three or four minutes. If you don't want to see what's in this, look away now. Look. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> That was a good idea to do the spoiler. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Look at the little hearts. That is so cute. Isn't it? Oh, so I got a little fuck. So did you tell them about this? Yeah. They've put oh. little confetti, heart confetti and little like tickets. That is so cute. Movie night, movie of your choice. So that's yarn. Do the yarn last. Okay. So there's loads of stuff in here. <laughs> loads. <gasps> I'm so jealous. So sweet. That's so sweet. Now what are you gonna open the Valentine's? Nothing. I'm just gonna. We don't do Valentine's presents. Is something in here? Mm -hmm. I probably feel like this is all for me. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, oh, it. my gosh. Neil just knows you too well. I sent him a link. Oh, <laughs> bless. It's like, look at this. What's the price point? Do you know? £40. Which is quite good. Which is good. Box, you get a yeah. lot. You're getting a lot. Oh my gosh. I know. Wedding cake. It's the bird and blend tea. We love it. We tried it before Christmas. We Ooh, got the whole sample. We got the whole sample um set from bird and blend. Is it a loose tea? Yeah. We got a. They did Halloween ones and stuff. Oh, they wow. did one called Strudel. Is this the one you told me about? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they yeah. did one called Strudel. It's incredible. They also do a birthday cake one. This one's wedding cake. It's not proposing you didn't know it was in there. <laughs> and then yarn! Oh my god, and you get a mini and a big? Yeah, get do the big first. Okay, big. <gasps> that is so you. Isn't it? You, me, and a cup of tea. Isn't that adorable? That is so cute. I'm so jealous. And then give it So I'm assuming all of them are the same. What a great idea. I assume so. What an amazing idea to do. I know. Love it. And then a lot of people are doing Valentine's boxes, botanic mm -hmm. yarns, 145. Oh. I know. 
seriously i think there's a lot more yarn in it but still <gasps> that is so it goes really so nicely nice. with of course it goes yeah really nicely. <gasps> oh that would make such beautiful socks what are you gonna knit though i actually have a lot a couple of skeins from these guys that will sit in love for yeah me too Oh my Me god, too. what a beautiful treat. And you get the mug for your Look tea. Look the little mug, it's adorable. And then you get the wee chocolates and the stitch marker. Okay, it actually was exactly four minutes, so let's put it away now. In case we oh just... yeah, that's good. Actually, yeah, I think it's roughly four. So yeah, yeah. we'll put all that stuff in there. Yeah, so worth it. Such a beautiful box. Love what it. What an amazing gift. I know, I'm spoiled. So that's all my things. <laughs> Yay! So is that us? That's us, Chloe. I know. Now we need to sort of think about what we're gonna do next. Should I show the patterns that I was just quickly? Yeah. yeah. So I've been thinking of patterns. One, this is my gallon. I just um, showed it last year. So this was two years ago. This is so this was in the mini set that we both yeah. showed earlier as a mini, but this is the full this color. The I full. wish I got it. Why didn't you? I don't know. Look how nice it is. So what do I make? A top, I think. Mm -hmm. That would be so cute. How many skeins did you use in your red one? In the red? I like one in a bit. Mm. Mm. Didn't I? Yeah. She's pretty good, but anyway. Oh, my friend got me a wee yarn ball. I should have showed that one. Oh. Anyway, um, let me show so the Chloe patterns. has a lot of single skeins, like myself, yeah. because we just fell in love with the yarn and we're like, we need to have this. So she's got lots of um, patterns that she wants to cast on. But one that I would, oh crap, one that I would really like to do someday is the Winona Polo Lovely. by Emily... Emily, why, Jen, 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 love it. So I do want to buy those, and she has two. But look how beautiful these tops are. Like, I love. Or I love these as well. But I like the colors. Very they're chic. In. What size do they go up to? Let's mm, see. These designers one. don't tend to be very size inclusive. Well, you did show me one the other day, two XL. Not size inclusive. Yeah. That's mochi knits. And then, do you want to see the Soho top? Oh, 10 sizes in that one. That's beautiful. Show that one again. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? What does it go up oh. to? Inches wise. Where do you see that? So there's 10 sizes. Oh, mm, 53 inches is not very much. And then there's this one as well, which is top. What size? She's only doing yeah, that. So it's it's not good enough. Yeah. Size. 42 inches. I couldn't knit that. That's ridiculous, isn't it? And it's supposed to be oversized. Yeah, that's really poor. That one's just 2XL as well. What does it go up to? Where your bust are coming from? That's not right. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, well, yeah. Not very size inclusive at all. They are cute. But, but I also pretty. really like this one, which I'm assuming the she Mio is. The Mai tea. Oh yeah, that's yeah. good. Love that. <gasps> Show a bigger But picture. that's that's more than just one ski in these. They are yeah. all like... Love that one. Yes, yeah, so we need to think of like a top four. Um... So show the skins that you, you want to cast on in this season of your life. This For season spring. of my life. Okay, well, I will say, I always thought this for Halloween, but then Amy saw it and she was like, no, spring. Yeah. I was like, I Halloween have... because of the dark, dark speckles. So, and I do have a lot of pretty yarns, so maybe I will just save that for Halloween. Yes, yeah, so this. <gasps> oh, one, I love the lab enemy. This is my little pink by basket. So we've got Frenchie. Frenchie goes so nicely with this. <gasps> you could knit a top. One of those tops. With. <gasps> Look at that. I but then it would be two Frenchie. different colours. I kind of want it all one colour. Yeah, that's true. I love Frenchie. We also have... Oh, I'm going to the Fine and Dandy 
market tomorrow and Gideon's going to be there. It's in Titanic World. He won the wheel. He won the wheel. I'm not third wheeling. I'm bringing him in. <laughs> Maybe. And then, yes, I do have all these spring <gasps> minis. Forgot about all of those. I know that was just a random Etsy These are, seller. Are these I 10 grams? I think they are. I don't know. <gasps> I think so. They're Clearly, tiny. You could knit the most adorable Easter socks. Yeah, that would be cute. So yeah, I have those. Easter socks with like a cream or a white as your colour work. So you could do stripes yeah. with colour work. Uh-huh. And like, we always so say cute. these, but I've still got these to make use of. I'm going to just take them. Oh, no, you are not. Yeah, we need to have a right old crinkle. I think this year I definitely right want to use... crinkle? <laughs> I definitely want to use my snorkel this year. Yeah. For summer. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But like what do I do because feel that can that be a top? Yes, it's perfect for a top. It's um single ply, hundred percent merino, so it's perfect for a top. Perfect. <gasps> Look at that how deep that color is. It's the so lighting in here is great. It is good, isn't it? Beautiful. Um so I was sort of thinking, do you know one of those ripple bralettes maybe? Because that's mm -hmm. one skiing, I believe. Yeah. That'd be beautiful. It would be quite cute, wouldn't it? And you could wear like a big oversized white shirt over it. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Beautiful. You can do this. Watch this space. Yes, I think I'll we need to have a look at we single do. skin patterns. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. And then I remember I was meant to do um, oh, a cow or something. I think I was doing that. A cow. That was <laughs> so Northern Irish. A cow. A cow. A cow. A cow. <laughs> Look how beautiful that oh, these wee minis are though. I would have liked to use this finally. They're cute. So nice. Anyway. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go and trail through Chloe's yarn. We're gonna have some lemon. Lush. <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? Oh look! See, you'd never would have found that if I hadn't sprinkled you in your heart. What are all these? Bits and bobs. Oh, botanic yarn. Yeah, botanic yarn, so I had a load of things in it. Here's Why a little stitch marker. Oh, it's not a nice one. It's rose gold. Yeah, but I thought you were talking about a nice one. Like, oh, no. Anyway, that's us. We've been talking for over an hour. Although there are quite a few bloopers. Yes, to be removed, dresses and things. Yes. Mountains of my toes. Yes. <laughs> Just keep them to yourself. Mm. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Um, look after yourself. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>